use De Morgan's theorem to solve that equation. Okay, well, the first thing we want to do is just to put that in general polar form. So it's going to be obviously somewhere here. So we can get the R is the uh, absolute, not of Z rather, but of um, modulus of R plus R root 3. So that's root uh, 16. And then 4 root 3 squared is 48. So plus that's 64. So that's 8. So that's an 8. And then the angle here is tan inverse 4 root 3 over 4. So that's pi over 3. So in general polar form, z cubed would equal 8 bracket cos pi over 3 plus 2n pi plus i sine pi over 3 plus 2n pi. So cube rooted, so that 8 cube root becomes a 2, and De Morgan says you divide that by 3, so that would become a 9, and that would go over 3, and that would become a 9, and that also would go over 3. So we just have to put in n is 1, n is 2, and uh, n is 0, n is 1, and n is 2, and then we have the three answers. So let's see, 2 cos pi over 9 plus 2 times 0 times pi over 3. So the cos part here is unfortunately... Oh, wait, I don't even have to calculate it. I can leave it in this form. Nice. So then that would be 2 cos pi over 9 plus i sine pi over 9. That's 2. And then the next one is when n is 1. So that's 2 cos 7 over 9 pi plus i sine 7 over 9 pi. And then the last one is 2 cos 13 over 9 pi plus i sine 13 over 9 pi. Uh, I guess that's it for question three.